Well, hey everybody. Today is Thursday, the 24th of October, the year is 2024. I'm not the only one that says time is speeding up. It's starting to be a lot of people. I guess I've been saying it for a very long time, but there's a scenario that I kind of want to see if I can incorporate into my thinking and then actually make a video about it where people can understand with their inner knowing and their inner standing what I'm fact <laughs> what I'm today. Well hey everybody today is Thursday the 24th of October the year is 2024 I'm not the only one that says time is speeding up. It's starting to be a lot of people. I guess I've been saying it for a very long time, but there's a scenario that I kind of want to see if I can incorporate into my thinking and then actually make a video about it where people can understand with their inner knowing in their inner standing, what I'm fact, <laughs> what I'm factually fixing to say, because it ain't, it won't make any sense unless you do it and you've done it or you practiced it, or you can say you know someone that has done it or professes out of their mouth that they know how to do it. That's one thing. But I learned. A long time ago, when I woke up, August the 17th, 2003, after months had went by and I had been downloaded with this information about the time that we're in now, and I f found really good information to back up my downloads to turn it into something that would resonate with my atoms down to my DNA and it did it actually uh, allowed me to find these people on the internet at a very like 2006 2005 no 2007 8 9 was uh, some of the big years that I found this information Elon Elon Golden was one of them. I may be saying, butchering that name and saying it wrong, but he was working with another man about the, the, the pyramids in Mesoamerica. And his information was literal from the calendar, and they were talking in terms of what would happen in 2012. You know this isn't an entrance, right? I know. And so 2012, came and went and it looks like nothing happened but what if I told you the entire system was taken down right in front of our eyes it, everything ceased to exist is corrupted then it will create its own reaction mother is reacting in the Hopi prophecy they say the storms and floods will become greater To me, it's not a negative thing to know that there will be great changes. It's not negative. It's evolution. When you look at it as evolution, it's time. Nothing stays the same. You should learn how to plant something. That's the first connection. You should treat all things as spirit. Realize that we are one family. It's never something like the end like life there's no end to life that's just the theory that's just a conspiracy theory whatever you want to call it but when we tune back in and we literally couldn't for the life of us figure out what had happened because seamlessly 
as you reboot a computer, nothing happened. And that, for the most part, that's what it looked like. But time was speeding up to get to 2012 for that to happen. And then the ones that were able to resonate with the teaching and the hearing of the Hopi and all these other prophecies of what it would be like going through an uh, end time calamity. It would be like the stream was flowing so fast that people tried to hold on to the bank and dig themselves into the roots with their arms and their legs and try to hold on to any and everything they could to keep from getting pulled out into the middle of the so-called channel where they just knew that would kill them. But the ones that had this inner knowing, we just released everything and just went with the flow. And in that is my point. When I started knowing this down into my atoms and my cells and my DNA, I started being able to collapse time. I live in only the now. And so when I collapse time, way back then, you can't bring that into the future unless you really did it. And if you really did it, you would have evidence in this moment of now that you did it. And that is why I can sit out in the sun for hours and hours and never worry about am I going to run out of time. That's the gift that I'm trying to show you when you collapse time. So if, in your life, if you're going through something that is very painful, very hurtful, embrace it, flow with it, and it'll actually teach you something that you didn't know about yourself. And that one little subject about who you are can change your life for an eternity. In other words, you can control how you think about time and why you changed your mind. Nobody changed it for you because we got a lot of situations where they're trying to give people thoughts through subliminal advertising, subliminal wave energies that can make a person have thoughts that are not his or her thoughts. You break free of the matrix by speaking healing, loving energy to your atoms, your cells, your DNA. It's a fundamental understanding for all of the great sages that became self-aware. They became what Yahshua ben Joseph became. He knew he was a son of, of the Creator, source of all things. At that time that he walked this planet, they were a couple others, and you know who they, who they were, but they were a little before him and a little after him. And then 500 years before him was the one called Buddha. And a thousand years before Buddha was one called Krishna. They called him Lord Krishna. They called Buddha Lord Buddha. They called Yahshua Ben Joseph Lord. And that same deity that was in control of the earth all the way back to them 2,000, 3,000 years ago is what they now have as a religion that where a Baptist church can break away 60 times and still be fragmented to death and they're still preaching the same Yahweh. They're still telling the same Bible stories that didn't feed nobody back then or nobody along the chain of time to get them to an authority 
appointed time for them to be able to awaken and collapse time, to come out of the illusion that their life has any meaning. It only has the meaning that you give it. And when you seek the truth, the truth will start seeking you. When you start looking into the wisdom teaching of the ages, you will find all types of things talking back at you and explaining either who you are or who you should try to strive to be. You can't be good enough to be a, a Bible-toting, Yahweh-believing everything the church says because they don't know. Then again, they know everything. That's the... <laughs> That's the, di the dichotomy or whatever the word is I'm trying to think of and say, it's an oxymoron. <laughs> it's crazy. And that brings us back to this reality. Everything about this reality is out of control. It's, it, it's crazy. The wind is blowing now. Dick, come it. Let me see if I can... I don't want... I'm going to have to... Yeah, the wind's blowing, so I'm going to have to hold the camera like this until, I, until it quits. But um, what I'm trying to say is this. Simply, I'll work on it and come up with a better way to explain it. But if you can't slow your mind down and be still, what are you waiting on? It's a state of being that passes all understanding of this reality. And if you don't practice a type of yoga, a type of still in your mind, then you will be caught up into that river that's moving so fast. You're afraid and you're living in fear, fear of what's going to happen. I can tell you this, today is just like it was yesterday and tomorrow is going to be just like it was today. Here we are at Halloween. Halloween is going to come and go. Thanksgiving is going to come and go. Baby Jesus is going to come and go. Elections are going to come and go. Famous people are going to do famously stupid things. And then we'll be right back to it. Easter Bunny Day. Right after Easter Bunny Day, it seems like it turns off into 4th of July. And then I'd be damned if we're not right back around to September. And something always, always kicks off in September. And it gets really bloody every October. And then we're right back into Halloween. These cycles come and go. But the actual truth, when you seek it, and it, you find it, and it gives you the ability to be calm within the storm and still your mind, and have the patience to lay out in the sun, because that's one of the most valuable things you can do right now, is to heal your body with these photons of light and love and then speak it right into your body that you are healing your atoms, your cells, your DNA down to the very mitochondria cells and the telomeres. That is more important to do that now. You see what I'm saying? I did all this way back when I first woke up coming into the the speeding up of time and by 2012 I had mastered quite a bit and then I just brought that right into the now by collapsing time
If I can do it, you can do it. You can become younger, stronger, healthier. And it's just by thinking and believing that you're actually speaking with the resurrected power of, of Yahshua ben Joseph. You're actually resonating with the creator source of all things that are eternal. And you are a light body being inhabiting a physical form. And you're not your name and you're not your personality. You are the very thought that you think. Think good thoughts. <laughs> Treat people like you want to be treated. Don't judge no one and don't harbor unforgiveness for things that didn't even really happen. Forgive everything and everyone and you will be set free to collapse time and utilize your stillness to help heal the world. That's your mission. You probably stepped into it when you turned this video on. <laughs> uh, I need all the people I can get to help me steal this world into peace. <laughs> Either that or we just going to blow it up. <laughs> Either way, it doesn't matter. You are the same as I am. And there's only one of us. Walk outside and try to just get calm. Because the storm is upon us. It's coming faster and faster as time is proving itself to be moving faster and faster. Y'all have a good day. I love all of you. Thank you for watching my channel. Leave a comment. Let me know that you okay <laughs> send me a message in time and space to let me know you resonate with what I'm saying or not I can take it if you don't like it but if you like it I love it y'all have a good one